Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Jack Vader here, and as always by my side, my main man, Mando. Hey, everybody. What's up, brother? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing really good. Okay, so we've been real busy this week playing some Jedi Jedi Survivor. Survivor. Okay, so uh, real quick, man, just go over, go over some, some of the cool stuff that you like about it. Well, I really like how you, how you do the puzzles and stuff and how you can tame animals. And I also really like the Jedi, I mean, the Saber Stance. So you like the new saber stances, how you can tame animals, and uh, and what else now? Puzzles. And the puzzles. Okay, so the puzzles tend to stump me, so I, I pass off the controllers, and uh, I, I don't get a chance to play too much these days, but uh, I'm watching him. But that's not what we're here for tonight. What we're here for tonight is lightsaber. And uh, I know what you're saying. I've already reviewed this before, and I have. But I've been doing a lot of shorts lately, and uh, a lot of attention has been coming to my Imperial Workshop set, uh, sabers, especially the, the, uh, the Revenant, okay? So uh, that's the, uh, oh, I burnt my hand. <laughs> you gotta watch those motion controls, they'll light you up. Okay, so especially the Revenant, which is the uh, Luke Skywalker return of the Jedi hilt. And uh, this, this isn't entirely too accurate, okay, especially when you buy it from Imperial Workshop. It's gonna come with the hilt by itself, okay? You're not gonna get the trigger box. You have to buy that separate, and they do sell it, but it's always sold out. I don't understand how that works, because I would probably buy the same amount, and just, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, but uh, I was able to get one off of, uh, I think either, either Etsy or Alibaba, or one of those overseas sites or whatever. They're only like 35 bucks, but uh, you can just uh, screw it on there, and uh, it makes it, look, makes it look pretty good. So uh, the, Re the Revenant Hilt has been getting a lot of attention lately, because uh, I I'm guessing because Hasbro just released the new the Force FX, and uh, for about the same price, you can get the Revenant, guys. So uh, uh, maybe you want to go back and re-review this hilt because uh, when I first reviewed this is when I was first breaking into the YouTube, and uh, wasn't really I didn't get really a chance to cover all, all the fonts and everything that uh, that goes with it. So that's that. And here we are. So okay, let's start off with uh, just just looking at this bad boy. Okay, so here's the hilt. All right, and like I said, you have to add the trigger box. And uh, this thing looks pretty close. It's not 100% light screen accurate, but for the price you're paying and for what you're getting, you're getting NeoPixel, you're getting color change, you're getting the clash, you're getting the lock up, and you get the tip drag, you get the most, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 sweet, the swing, the smooth swing. And uh, these are all things that don't come with the Hasbro. Furthermore, the Hasbro, you have to unscrew the neck and you have to put this fat neck on there to get this blade that's even too short, in my opinion, to be on there. And then when you ignite it, the, 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 the sound is okay, but it's not as loud as uh, the, this Imperial Workshop. Okay, uh, the Imperial Workshop speakers are probably some of my favorite speakers because they're so loud. You're gonna see in a second. Go ahead, uh, hit that one. This is really loud. Okay, so that's the Paragon Hilt. I've already reviewed that. I just do this so we can go over the features. Okay, first let's get some clashes in. Easy, 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 easy. You're gonna knock me out. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't say kill me. Okay, go ahead, come, come get a couple more. Okay, so you see this register, and it'll register randomly up and down the blade. Okay, now let's get a lock up. Let's get a lock up going. All right, there you go. So to do a lock up, you just kind of hold down the power button, and as you make contact, it should do this. Then you just got to kind of center it in. As long as you hold it down, you're going to get that. And that thing is nice and loud. That speaker is just resonating. You let go, and that's that. Okay, uh, we're going to do the uh, tip drag, but uh, I can't do it in this far because I'll show you why. Okay, some of these fonts, they just come, they just come, they, 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 they didn't get downloaded right or something. So uh, I noticed on the Luke font, okay, it's going to do the, uh, easy there, you burn the table up. Uh, on the Luke font, you're going to get the, the tip drag motion, but it's not making the sound for some reason. And that's only specific with this font, okay? So um, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next font, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So two ways of going about it, if you hold it, if you hold it down, just hold it down indefinitely, it's going to go one direction. If you hold it down for like three seconds, it's going to go the other direction. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go south because it's going to be faster. I want to go through some of these fonts. Okay. So let's do that. One, two, three, and you let go. Final steps. It's going to get you some kind of sound like that. Now, I'm not going to count it every time. Don't worry. And then once you get the uh, the, the sound bite, it's going to give you a clue on what's the, uh, the the font that's going to be coming out. So the final steps is going to be this rainbow blade. Okay. So this thing is, you know, some people like it, some people hate it. I would never use this in a, uh, in a duel or anything, but this thing, it looks pretty cool, especially, uh, you know, even in person on camera, it just lights up all these crazy colors, okay? So uh, that was the motion control, the way I, I turned that off. So uh, let me go through that real quick before I go through all these fonts. 
Okay, there's two ways of igniting the blade. One way you just hit the, you just tap the button. Another way you give it a quick jab. Okay. The jab looks like you're pushing it out of the handle. It does. It looks pretty cool sometimes. So there's that way of going about it, or you just press the button like I like I've been doing. And also, you can uh, to retract the blade. You just give it a quick twist, and it retracts the blade. Okay, moving on. Ray Skywalker. This is going to be Ray Skywalker's blade. Uh, I thought she had a yellow blade, didn't she? No, that's Anakin. Well, that's she had Anakin's? Ray, yeah, but just well, that blue is not right. Teal. So uh, let's go ahead and try to do the color wheel. Now, the color wheel and the Imperial Workshop menus, are, they're, they're kind of tough to operate sometimes. So uh, if, if I don't do it on this one, I'll try to catch on the next one because some of these fonts are just hard to do. So what you want to do is you want to hold it down, hold the power button, give it a quick twist. We'll try doing our next one. Like I said, it's just tough, it's tough to get in and out on these some of these on, on these menus. But it does have a color. It does have a color change. Sometimes you got to sit there for 20 minutes. I swear, but uh, but it does work. Okay, so moving along with the fonts. Okay, this is like a ghost blade. It's gonna get. It's gonna stay uh, silent. It's gonna make noise, but it's gonna stay off until you move it around. And uh, that actually looks pretty cool in the, in the dark. You hear that ominous sound, and you just whoa, whoa, you know. And uh, it's actually pretty cool, so. Another cool one is the blaster blade, because in the dark you can't like see the thing, so it looks like it's just coming out coming of nowhere. Coming out of nowhere. Okay, that's just, uh, th this is a Xenopixel board, just so you know. Difference between this and like a Profi board, the Profi you're gonna have a lot more uh, like programmable uh, ignitions. If, if, you, if you've seen some of my shorts, you're gonna see uh, I mean, the Pizzino can do some cool stuff, like how it just appeared out of nowhere, and it gives you a, the, the same color and all that, but the Profi just does it so much better with the, with the, with the cool ignitions, is what I call them. So moving right along. Okay. And like I said, you know, these, these Xeno boards, they can do a lot of cool effects, so you got kind of like a, like a Kylo Ren kind of flame, flame it's effect. It's Star killer. Star killer. Okay, but if it, if it was those profi, you would see what I was talking about. It would really flicker and do all kind of really cool stuff. Put a little but, bit of orange in there too. Put a little bit of orange in there. Ch change the little colors. And uh, but like I said, for for a beginner just trying to break into like the lightsaber stuff, this is an awesome saber and it's a great price and it does have a ton of fonts as we're going through here. And the speaker is super loud too. It registers all the hits. It does everything you want to do. This is dark, brother. Yeah. Some of these fonts are a little long-winded, but they don't speak once you get once you get through it. And uh, this thing made it sounds great too, man. It's revving. That's right, maybe the second one. This guy's still talking. Okay, move on to the next one. Hopefully, this doesn't talk as much. Okay, so we've seen this one similar before. To uh, raise or whatever it was. Cal Castus. We were just playing the game. Okay, I think I changed this on the color, so let me try to do the color. Bit. I'm gonna go show you the tip drag that's working on this one. So that's gonna be your tip drag. You wanna hit down and press the button. This would be my favorite ignition of all time. <laughs> Comes out slow. Comes out nice and slow. This is from Empire Strikes Back and uh, when he's dueling in the uh, carbonite chamber. So uh, perfect sound, perfect hum, perfect smooth swing sound, everything about it, man. It's just my favorite. This is, uh, uh, who's this? I'm pretty this is Kylo Ren. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be Kylo Ren's, uh, this is Kylo Ren's, absolutely. It's not flickering, but it sounds like Kylo Ren's, but the other one is flickering like Kylo I'm not really too sure, actually. Keep it going. It's like a non-crack. This is clearly Obi-Wan. So that's Kenobi's phone there. Oh, I thought it comes out so smooth. That's a good sound. It's a really good sound here. Count Dooku? Not because that's too slack, I feel like. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says Count Dooku, man, but it sounds like Vader's and it comes out slow and I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a weird ignition. That's clearly Vader's sound, so I don't know what the deal with that is. So. 
That was cool. That's Josh Ray. I like how that one came out like that. So that's how, that's when the, the motion controls look good on a blade like that. It comes out quick. Because you just come up and you just. <laughs> Not going to work. <laughs> Got to get a good jab on it. But that thing comes out, that thing comes out like you threw it out there. So. Oh, that's sweet, man. This one look this feels is. new. I don't remember this one at all. I don't know. I mean, it's got to be a Jedi. Yeah. Sounds good. Looks good. If y'all know, let me know. You overstepped your bounds. Oh, what's his name? Tom Marcos. Tom Marcos. I got this. Pretty sure you can change the car in this one. Oh, here we go. There we go. I got it working. Sometimes you just gotta mess with it, man. But uh, and they all do it. I just try. You just have to get it right on camera. So once you get once you go into the menu, you, you, um, I think I bypassed the sound somehow. But I didn't hear it saying nothing. But usually it says it'll say color wheel activated. So uh, what color is his blade? Red. Yellow. It's red. 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 He's a Sith. He's a Sith. Okay. Let me see here. Well, really what you want to do is you want to make sure you rotate it right into that red. Or is it right in red, there? Right. Sometimes it's on the bottom and you gotta get your finger just right on it. Color selected. Color selected. A little so. orange, but it's fine. A little orange, but I mean, you can go back and change it the way you want it. All right, keep it rolling. Oh, Here we go. I got it. Yeah, this one just comes too too slow. That's small. Uh, do you remember it coming out slow no. like that? I don't either. It so. came out like Vader's mode on this. Yeah, like so. a little fast. Invaders was, was a little faster than that, but it, it came out kind of slow in, in a carbonite scene. But um, yeah. but it changes through ice movies, so I don't know. I, I, if anybody knows if it comes out slow like that, let me know. So, this is either Obi-Wan or Anakin. Oh. And you also have Blast Deflect. I forgot to mention that one. Let me go ahead and you just tap the power button. Anakin's just as Anakin. This is the way. Obviously, that's going to be Mandalorian. And that thing, man. Man, that thing's not. I don't know why the color is like that. Because I mess with it and uh, I can't get it right. <laughs> This, this is raised, yeah. That, that's a, actually, I like the sound of that ignition. Man. Like a, oh, yeah, because like she, she has to click. Let's something. do that again. Like a two step. Like yes, yeah, uh. it's because when she turns it on, she has to like click the top of it. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. I'll show you the dark side. That's, I mean, that's going to be. Yeah, this cover right here. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that sounds like it and it looks like it. There. So, I mean, you see, the Xeno, the Xeno boards are great, guys. I mean, don't, don't, don't knock them. Unless you're looking for some crazy ignitions, the Xeno boards will do you just fine, and then uh, they sound good, they look good, you can duel with them. Uh, this this one here is the one that he's always using in all the videos to duel with, and I usually use my uh, Strider Sabers uh, Darth Vader hilt uh, just because there's less chance. If I got to break one, I'm just going to pick one to break. You know, I'm not going to keep going through them. So uh, I don't mess with the other ones, even though you can duel with them. Um, I just duel with this one and the other one. Yeah. Right. Especially, I don't mess with the uh, the Obi Wan hilt. It's one of my favorite ones because that speaker is just nice and loud. And it has a little skinny curve. Yeah, that's going to be uh, just some kind of Sith font. Nice. What's this of power? What's this of power? Okay, here's another cool Xeno. I like the hum. I like the hum on this one. If I can change the color of it. Okay, so I got it on that one finally. You heard it say color change active. Let's do a purple. Yeah, right there. That looks good. Nice dark purple. All right. Yeah, and that like thing that. so that's flickering a little bit. So you can do a lot with these uh, these Xeno boards, especially with the Imperial Workshop. These are some of my uh, favorite ones because they're so high quality, and uh, for what you're paying for, I mean, it's pretty affordable. The 
teacher. Who's that? Yoda? Look at Yoda's font. Qui Gon? You look Yoda or One of the two. <laughs> They're usually the end. I think that's is it. That's it. I'm gonna go the other way. I think. Whispers of power. Yeah, that's that's going the other way. Let me make sure. I think, I think we got reached to the bottom of it. Yeah. yeah. That's what we just did there. The teacher. Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be that's gonna be all the fonts there, guys. So, so that's gonna be the at the end there. So, I mean, you got some good fonts on here. Like about 60. Huh? Like about 60 fonts. No, no, you got 60 fonts on there. That's about that's about 15 to 20. <laughs> 60. We'd have been here all night, son. <laughs> so, uh, that's that's the uh, the Paragon. Like I said, uh, it's you, you don't have to reach out and do the do the profies or the Golden Harvest boards, you know, unless unless you're looking for those those crazy cool ignitions. Uh, if, if you're looking for a good starter uh, Neo Pixel that's high quality you can duel with, that's going to be that. And uh, with that said, uh, I want to thank the, all, all the all the new subscribers this week, man. We've been we've been putting out a lot of a lot of content on the on the shorts. Been, been uh, a lot of guys coming in. Uh, so uh, I got some lightsabers coming. Uh, I, I, I want to get back to doing some vintage collection stuff. So that's been stacking up on me. So uh, I'm going to try to get to that, guys. It's like i got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm getting back into the swing of things now. Uh, with that said, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out watching this tonight. Uh, Mando wants to take us out tonight. Sure. Everybody may the force be with you.